I first met Sam Fassel when I was filming for a youth training day with Next Gen Moto Trials. We chatted up a little bit and I later asked him to help teach some advanced wheeling maneuvers for a trials progression curriculum, some material that I was creating, as well as an On the Pegs magazine article. Now, this year, Sam's not riding as much of the Nationals because his family is growing. They just had their fourth child, so he's only riding the Rhode Island National. Now, Sam's a dealer for TRS, so it only makes sense that he would want to get me on a TRS for brand visibility. But I will say, I genuinely like these bikes. Now, when I filmed with him, he told me he'd rather have me on a TRS than the bike I had at the time. So he lent me his Minder bike that he wasn't using much. Now, <laughs> I really liked the TRS, and we started chatting more. I asked him to help me film some zap material, and he told me that he wanted to ask me something. So I call him up, and it turns out his brother, who usually is his minder, was unable to help him at the Rhode Island National. So Sam asked me to be his minder for that event. <laughs> I was shocked. I was blown away. I told him, uh, I'm not much of a mechanic and I'll, or a minder. I've never done this before, but I do have passion. And so I want to take you along for the journey that is me learning to be a minder. Sam said that he thought it would be fun and we could make some cool videos in the process. And you know I'm all about that. So this is some footage from our first time out training together, and I wanted to take you along for the ride of what I'm learning and what a minder really does. Now it turns out that my encouraging and exhorting personality traits can make for a good helper. I'm gonna wind up being kinda like a golf caddy. If you've never heard of what a minder does, they're a helper who's probably gonna carry their water, their tools, provide some snacks. I'm gonna look a lot at his rear tire line and make sure he's got a clean drive up towards obstacles and as well as keep time, because in the national, you gotta get through a section in 90 seconds. And most importantly for safety, a minder is gonna try to catch the bike, especially when the rider's going up a steep ledge or cliff. If the rider's not gonna make it, the minder can save the bike, grab it, so the rider can jump back and not worry about the bike falling on them or the bike getting damaged. So this is the first section that Sam and I have been working on for his training, getting ready for Rhode Island Nationals. This next ravine step is pretty significant. It's good if you can hold it. So that log double step is, he just flies over it, but the second little ledge right there, he's gonna try and stay left of it and then carry momentum around to the right of it. Woo! Out of control. There you go. Think about that second part. Program that into your brain. How are you gonna get over that ravine? Yeah, perfect. Go! All right, so we got practice spot number two. Soft landing, doesn't need to be as strong a flip turn. There you go, there you go. Rear tire's perfect, perfect.
Woo! Good save. Where do you want to be up there? Look at it. All right, you're high. You got it, though. Good. Settle down. It's a small rear hop, not as big as last time. Yep. Rear tire's perfect. Good body now. Feel good with that one?